Good Sunday morning, everybody. As you can see, I'm in the car and- In a quarter of a mile. It's, it's 11.58 a.m. It's technically still morning. Anyway, I'm all suited up and we're in the car. We are actually running a few masks to a neighbor in need. I have extras and they will work for her. So we're running that over there. And Turn right. As I um, left, I got a um, text message from my niece. So it looks like it might be sewing this afternoon because she needs masks too. And then we're gonna probably stop at- In one. Uh, we are going to stop at like one shop, probably a Fred Meyer and just see if they have Lysol or Clorox wipes. I doubt it, but we'll probably do that on the way home. The main thing is we're taking husband's car out for a spin. If you'll notice the inside of the car looks different. We're in the husband's sports car. It hasn't been driven in a month. So um, it needs it to be- a little different. Sound, yeah, it's a little different than driving a Subaru. Um, so we're on the back roads. That's why the camera's bumpy. My arm is shaking. Uh, and we're driving it around and yeah, just, you know, doing the social distance thing, but uh, doing it in the car. So, all right, I'll be back. So, you hear that? Bullfrogs? It's late. I don't know what time it is. It's, we, uh, it's well after eight o'clock. I don't think it's nine o'clock yet, but anyway, we are headed out to get some walking in uh, before it gets any later and any darker. <sighs> so anyway, so we're gonna go get some steps in. I'll see if I can get a few pictures and I'll be back. Hey guys, we are out walking again. This time it's light outside. I haven't vlogged all day, but I made a bunch of head tubes today. I'm making some more of the surgical style masks tomorrow and the filter pocket masks on Wednesday. Getting a lot of friends and family that need them. So I'm working on that. Um, I also made another zombie doll, uh, coronavirus zombie doll. Um, I don't remember now if I shot footage or not at the moment, but I'll sort of, it's a picture of the finished doll right about here. What was the name? Mr. TP Shortage. It was pretty cute. Put a mohawk on it. <laughs> right? He kind of did, yeah. He had a TP mohawk. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk and get some steps in. Of course, I'm protected, as I should be. And uh, yeah, we'll get it done, right? All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, so that noise in the background is my daughter's Roomba. Hang on, 
Let me close the doors temporarily. I do want it to come clean in here, but hang on. The noise is a little... Didn't cut it out completely, but less, a lot less. Anyway, it is Tuesday morning. Uh, it's before 10 a.m. I don't know what time it is. It's April 7th, I think. Hold on, let's go see. Yeah, April 7th. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I already made some homemade hand sanitizer. That was the f second thing I did today. I fed the sourdough starter. I'm trying, I'm uh, creating a new sourdough starter. I haven't had one of those in years. So anyway, um, my daughter wants to learn how to bake bread. So, um, and at times bread is hard to find at the grocery stores. Fun fact. So, um, I'm going to make some sourdough starter so I'm feeding it we're on day two of probably like day 14 although I probably won't wait for two full weeks to cure it to make bread uh, instead of tossing some of it out um, when I go to feed it I will probably um, make bread um, we'll see what happens anyway as long as I have flour because that's a thing um, I'm gonna make a bunch of masks today I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do another zombie doll today, but we'll see. And I will put some pictures here of the current collection of zombies. And um, I have to add a couple of words to the positive affirmation doll that I'm creating for Mike Deacon's Mission Inspiration. So um, yeah, all that. I am supposed to have an, a telehealth physical therapy appointment this afternoon, but I'm thinking of um, canceling it and rescheduling it for a couple of weeks out. Um, there's a lot to do around here, plus my knee is kind of sore. I've been doing a lot of walking, um, and I'm not so, so sure I need one more visit, so um, I think I'm going to cancel my appointment today. And that's it. Mostly mask making. Oh, joy. Oh, and I have to edit the vlog for tomorrow. Last week's vlog. I haven't done that yet, so all right, I'll be back. Okay, 19 more cloth surgical masks done. I'm gonna do filter pocket mask tomorrow. I have enough elastic for one more mask. So next is robbing the elastic cord and hair scrunchy things out of the book binding basket, which I may have found something that'll work. I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna get the mail and bring the garbage can in and then edit the vlog, I guess. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, we're out for our evening walk. You'll notice this time I have a disposable surgical mask on. I am finding when I'm walking, I need either the head tube or one of these on because I get too hot under the fabric one. So if you're still trying to get some exercise in, despite the fact that you need to wear a mask, you might just think about wearing a thinner mask. If you're getting your exercise in where you're able to easily for the most part maintain good social distance and this is just secure at light security you might just think hey, this is a little bit better or the head tube anyway we're going to try to keep lily from eating the grass <laughs> evidently she only does it with us i don't know if i believe that that's what the kids say anyway maybe Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in and we'll be back. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, April 8th. It's like 2.30ish. I think it's just slightly after 2.30. Spent the entire morning sewing again. I made a bunch more masks and I'm sending three of them off to a cousin who needs them. And I've got a bunch more now for anybody else who asks in my family. I keep giving them all away. So anyway, um, I'm going to, I ate lunch. I'm gonna try to squeeze this in the mailbox. Hopefully it fits. And then I'm gonna either work on something new I've just discovered called slow stitching or make another voodoo doll or something. It's a beautiful day out. It's nice and warm. I've got the windows open. Enjoy what I can while I can, right? All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, we're out for an evening stroll with my mask on. One thing that we're noticing, and every this is the second time recording this, by the way, I forgot to hit the 
record button the first time. Anyway, huh? Take two. One thing we're noticing being home from the pandemic, because we can't go out like we used to, we can't get the convenience foods we used to, I'm doing a lot more cooking, which I haven't done in a long time. Uh, that's why flour is always gone at the store and sugar and all that stuff. So I took some supplies that we had on hand, including some organic honey from a friend in California. What was it? Gopher Gulch? Gopher Gulch honey. Yeah. That's we'll she, we'll, we'll find a social media or something link. We'll link it below. We love her honey. Uh, she, she's a beekeeper. Anyway, I made a sourdough starter with the honey instead of sugar. I started it on Sunday. I split it into two jars today and it wasn't quite ready to bake with, but there was a little bit left over. I didn't want to waste it. So I made the first loaf of bread. Oh my God, was that good? Why did I split it into two jars? So when the, my daughter and Polly get to move into their house, they have their own because she wants to make bread. Anyway, first loaf of bread made in like 10 years or something. So anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in now because I ate a couple pieces of bread and you know, yeah. I also spent the day doing some more masks. I'm done with that for a bit. Organizing some other things so I can do some more voodoo uh, zombie dolls, not voodoo dolls, zombie dolls. And, um, uh, and then I work on playing with some slow stitching. If you, if you guys out there do that, let me know. I'll link some references that I can find in the description. I just discovered it. It's probably been around for a million years. Anyway, I'm going to go catch up and I'm going to get my walk in and I'll be All back. right. So this would be why my allergies have been going haywire. No, it's not the Corona. This is the hood of my car. <laughs> it has so much pollen on it. Like the whole thing. Look at this. My car and my Bob just had the car washed over the weekend. On Sunday. On Sunday. It's like there's like a. It's almost like there's a layer of snow on it. You just they, not that you could tell it's been yeah. cleaned recently. Yeah. It looks like I haven't driven it in two months, which isn't too far off the mark. I haven't dri driven it, but family members have, and it wasn't this dirty. That's just gross. Anyway, stay safe, stay home, stay creative. See you. See you later. Good morning. It's ten oh eight a.m. ish. Thursday, April 9th, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, headed out to get the mail. It's here early. Uh, haven't done much yet today, but I plan on doing a lot of sewing and stitching. So we'll see how far I get. I'll be back. All right. So it's just a minute before two o'clock and I got my zombie doll done for today. I'll put a picture here. It's Mr. Shut Your Mouth. Um... Anyway, I'll put a picture here and of the whole zombie family as they exist at this moment. And um, I got a word added to the other doll that I'm altering to be a positive affirmation doll. And um, my sister lost her job. My sister Elizabeth lost her job because of the coronavirus. Um, it's one of many that I know that that's happened to right now. Uh, I know a few people that are sick with the virus. I wish them well and I wish them a speedy recovery and for them not to end up in intensive care because that would be bad. Um, what else? I, I want to work on some slow stitching, but I think I'm going to take a break and eat something besides wheat thins. And um, yeah, go downstairs and maybe actually have some lunch, something with a little protein in it, even if it's peanut butter. And maybe take some sausages out for dinner. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday, April 10th, I think. I don't know what time it is, but it's still morning. I don't think it's 10 a.m. yet. Um, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I need to take a shower. I've already been up and checked social media and uh, fed the sourdough starter. I am making another loaf of bread. The daughter's off to do the grocery shopping for us since I'm in the vulnerable category and try to get that done. I did have 
Holly is text her and ask her if she can find it. Can she get all-purpose flour? I don't know if she's going to be able to find any, but um, we're not in desperate need yet. But, you know, the jar is half empty, so start looking now. Um, got the last of my laundry out of the dryer. I need to fold and sort and put things away. I need to clean the house today. So it, this is going to be just a day of chores. I don't think I'm going to get any or much art done. I'll probably be lucky if I can sit down and finish reading my slow stitching book, but we'll see. And I do have a couple more ideas for zombie dolls, so I want to write them down before I forget. So I guess I better get dressed and get to it, right? All right, I'll be back. Okay, both the downstairs bathrooms are clean. The kitchen is clean. All the pollen is cleaned off of the surfaces in the art room. It's really polleny out. And we had the windows open and just it blew right in the house. Now I'm coughing, I know. Add some lunch. I'm gonna just relax for a minute before I do anything else. All right, I'll be back. She doesn't have enough attention span. I don't think the boys get that Lily is never going to figure out what baseball is. No, she's not really a baseball kind of dog. I, I don't think so. <laughs> They're going to end up, somebody's going to end up getting hurt. Dad. Dad. Really dad. Probably, yeah, probably dad. He wishes he was young enough again to play baseball. He'd hurt himself. Why do I have a feeling we've gone off on a trail we're not really supposed to be on? Yeah, that's a thing. Just run down. I can technically say good morning, everybody, because it's 11... 11.33 a.m. Saturday, April 11th, day before Easter. Um, it's going to be a weird Easter. Anyway, um, the family helped me get the house clean this morning and do all the dusting and things since we're doing our part in staying at home and staying isolated. And, you know, our lady who helps me get keep the house clean is not coming in for obvious reasons hello if you're watching this in the future research 2020 and the pandemic and you'll figure it out um anyway the family all had things to do today but i made them all promise to help me get the house clean which they did so the house is all nice and clean and spotless and if you hear a motor ish noise in the background there is my daughter and son, future son-in-law have a roomba and it's doing its thing upstairs. Hope it's not stuck. It sounds like it's banging into something. Um, anyway, so it's doing its thing. I just finished feeding the sourdough starters. You can, oops, see them on the counter behind me. I maybe should have taken some more out today and then fed them. I didn't. So I guess we will kind of see if they overflow later. I might have to let them like get near the top and then punch them down and let them rise again. I don't know, we'll see. I'm definitely going to have to cook rolls or bre more bread or something tomorrow. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, I'm going to go upstairs and <clears throat> fiddle around on the computer a little bit. Um, I need to work on my recipe binder that's down here because I've just been shoving stuff in it for like a long time and I think it's time to put the recipes I know I'm going to want to cook again into protective sleeves and put them actually in the binder so that things aren't falling out every time I pick it up because that's a thing. Anyway, Lily is here. She's outside. She's kind of upset that she's home alone with me. <laughs> she's, she prefers all of her people to be at the same place at the same time. Um, 
So yeah, that's a thing. She's out in the backyard. I think she's looking for snakes. We have garter snakes, red striped garter snakes. Okay, that was a giant pain. So I got all my recipe clippings sorted and organized and my smaller uh, recipe book redone. I took it all apart and put it all back together. Thank goodness for the cable, where are they? These cable binding wire things. I'll link them in the video description. I got them from Amazon and book binding tape. <laughs> so made a big giant mess, but I got it cleaned up. On to the next. As I'm turning the phone, on, the camera on on my phone to close the vlog, my husband's complaining about how the street and everything is all yellow. Everything is covered in pollen. On top of everything else that's going on in the world, we're having like the worst pollen season on the planet. Anyway, I didn't think I'd get a whole lot of like art stuff done, but to my surprise, I did get another zombie doll done. This is misinformation. I'll put a picture here. I got another word on my positive affirmation doll done, create, put that here. And I also got a couple of more drawings done in my daily drawing journal. So I'm surprised. <laughs> Anyway, we are headed out to get some steps in. Oh, well, look at that. And, uh, yeah. Lily's giving us a present. Lily's doing her business, so. Her business. Yay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go get some steps in. I probably should have a sweater on. It's a bit nippy, but it's not too bad. Even I don't have a sweater. I know. It's probably. Can you believe that shit? I'll probably be hot before we get home anyways, so. Can you believe that shit? I am Lily, come here. On. Lily. No grass. Sit down. I Sit. Have... Sit. I don't even have a sweater on. Good girl. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go get some steps in. We hope that you guys have had a good week uh, and been able to muddle through with our new oh, reality man. that we're all trying to deal with. Uh, Got to muddle, right, dear? Got to muddle. Anyway, uh, stay safe. <laughs> yeah. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay creative. Don't forget to check the video oh, description out for that. ways to support the free, ch the free content here on YouTube. Go toss it down there. Yeah, we'll toss it in yeah. our, in our um, uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> don't it. forget to don't forget to check out the video description for ways to support the free content here on YouTube. And if you have a favorite creative on YouTube, they probably have ways that you can support them in their video descriptions also. Um, also on Facebook, a lot of the creatives over there do do also. So if you can't find information for a PayPal tip jar or an Etsy store or Patreon or something, ask them, email them and ask them, message them, make a comment on their video because I bet there's a way. Uh, we would all uh, love your support, especially in this time when, you know, holy cow. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And the most important thing, Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Even if it's just in your own backyard because you're in quarantine. All right, that's it for now. See you next week. Bye, guys.